Okay, so this is Linksy by Plugly. It is a WordPress plugin that will help you to link your articles together. It does both inbound and outbound links to your articles. Um, it uses uh, AI to tell you how good the link text is, and it'll give it a score telling you whether your link will be um, a great fit, good fit, just average or poor. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the tool itself. Right, so if you head into Linksy and you go to the general settings, uh, you can choose if you want your links to open in a new tab or not. You can choose to add the destination post title to the link, though this is not recommended. Uh, you can tell it to skip so many words before it starts using links, um, as well as the maximum number of outbound and inbound links. So you can change all these settings here. Okay, and then you can also suggest links to older posts. You can say that you only want to uh, link to posts that are one month old or all the way up to 100 months. Or, of course, no limits. Um, you can also prevent two-way linking so that you don't have um, two posts sending links over to each other. Once one article is linked to another, it won't show as a suggestion later on. You can also choose categories to ignore and a few other settings. So let's jump straight to the dashboard. Okay, so here you can see I have uh, 232 posts um, and there are 1,361 links. It'll tell you how many internal links, external links there are, as well as these orphan posts that do not have links to them. So that means that I've got a bunch of articles that do not have any links being sent to them from any other articles. So I've got 118 articles that I do need to seriously look at. Um, it gives you a score here on the overall rating of your keywords. Um, most of them are quite good. Uh, most of them are great, actually. And... Um, very few or poor, but I can use this to, to work on those. So let's jump straight into the report section. Okay, so in the report, it has a list of um, articles here, and it tells me the word counts, the number of inbound links, outbound links, and external links. So that gives me a clear way to see which articles need to be worked on. Uh, you could also choose to filter them by the word count or the number of outbound links. Uh, inbound outbound links so if i say anything with zero inbound links and filter it out so here i can see the 118 articles that i mentioned earlier that need to be worked on so i can jump into these and um, add some links the main section you'll be using is the inbound internal link suggestions so it'll give you a list of your articles so let's say for example i'm going to look at uh, the top five chat gpt alternatives Okay, so it tells me here that I've got six outbound links to other articles and four external links, but I've got no um, articles linking to this article itself. So when I add links here, it's not editing this article. It's going to edit other articles and send links to this one. So let's see. It's saying that this article... GPT-4 and Bing Chat, the end of pop-ups and irrelevant text. It says that this would be a good option. It would be one of the best options to send a link to the top five chat GPT alternatives. So it gives me the, um, the link text that it plans to use. And it gives me a score on how good it thinks it is. So 56%, it's blue. It means that it is a good option. Not great, but it is good. Okay, you can also click on the down arrow and it will give you alternatives for this article. And it's got an average one and it's going to use the keywords conversation with the AI. Okay, so if I don't want to use uh, this article, I could jump to the eight ways GPT-4 outperforms chat GPT and it gives me uh, four options. So I can choose the top one that has a good score and it's going to use the link text opposed to chat GPT and it will then link this article uh, to the one we have here. So it's a very quick way to edit multiple articles at the same time to send inbound links to this article. So going to the uh, free ChatGPT and GPC4 social media marketing prompts article, I can see that it has no other articles linking to it. But if I didn't want to go and actually pick the top articles to link to it, I could go to quick apply and I could choose the top three or the top five articles, hit apply, and it will go to these 
top articles that it sees that have a very good rating and it will add links to them and you'll see this number jump up from zero to five as it has some inbound links added to it. So it is a very easy way to add inbound links to your articles. If you had a website, if you've had a blog for a very long time, uh, you've got hundreds of posts and you could come in here and just easily add inbound links to all of your articles instead of manually going through and trying to figure out which ones do not have links to them and trying to find the right keywords. You could sit for, for a few hours, knock this out in a day and have all your inbound links sorted. Uh, so what about outbound links? So with outbound links, we need to go to the article itself. Okay, so if you scroll down on your side column, you will come to the link C section here and you will see it's chosen this, this link text here, social media platforms, and it found a bunch of different articles that it can send links outwards to. So it says that the complete guide to social media and its role in SEO is a very good option to link out to. So I could go here, I could view that article, I could edit that article, or I could tell the tool to stop suggesting it. And I can, I can also scroll down and see what other options. If I went with improve its ranking, then these are the, these are the articles that it recommends that I should link to. And if I click on any of these options, it'll automatically add these links to the article. And as with the internal linking tool, I can also choose to quick apply the best rated options instead of checking them individually. Um, they will be releasing a feature to create these outbound links from outside of your posts as they do with the inbound links. This feature will be released in the next couple of days. Okay, then the next section is called Anchors Cloud. Okay, so if we go over to Anchors Cloud, it'll give you a list of all the anchor text in all of your posts and its source. So there's a lot of ways that you could use this. Um, it's mainly to check the quality of your, your links and your link text. It gives you a score here. So you could filter to find, let's say, very short anchor length text. Okay, from one to one. And I can see this, um, this article has a link text away, which is leading to away review. But this one, that is just us, is linking over to the best word search puzzle books for adults. So I believe this is actually a mistake. I've somehow made a mistake in here and I would need to go into this article and fix it. So it's a great way to find out when you are using really bad links. And it's a way to quickly go and find these mistakes and fix them. Uh, the next tool is called Keywords Rating. Okay, so with Keyword Rating, you can put in a keyword and see how well your article is ranking for that specific keyword. So with the top five ChatGPT alternatives, I'm going to jump into this one and I'm going to try ChatGPT. Oh, I should spell it right, ChatGPT. Okay, and it tells me uh, 63, it's blue, it's good. So it's telling me that my links are optimized well for this keyword. If I had to try another word that's mentioned in this article, um, such as write Sonic, I can see that it has a very low rating uh, because my links are not optimized for this particular keyword. So this article is uh, focusing on uh, getting people that are interested in ChatGPT to read it, not really on write Sonic uh, specifically. So I'll just remove those keywords as we don't need them any longer. And the final tool is called Playground. And Playground is just a way to search for specific keywords. So in this case, I'll search for Stable Diffusion. Okay, I'm using the single section here, and it's going to give me a list of articles that mention Stable Diffusion in them. So these are the articles here, and it's telling me how well optimized they are. These would need some work link-wise. One of my favorite tools for Stable Diffusion is called Super Machine. So I'm going to use the versus mode and I'll be able to see how each one ranks according to those keywords. So if I look at this article here, Super Machine AI Art Review, the lifetime deal, this is doing good for the Super Machine keyword. Um, and if I find it here on this list, it's not doing so well for Stable Diffusion. So I might want to go in and do some additional work. Perhaps you could find some other uses for this tool, but 
that's what I've been using it for. So Linksy, I found it quite impressive for the inbound links. The outbound links, as I said, I am waiting for them to add that part of the tool itself. Hopefully that will be done in the next few days and we can see how that goes. So that is a overview of Linksy by Plugly. Um, if you'd like to give it a try, they do have a lifetime deal offer. You'll find a link in the description. I'll add an update as well when the outbound links section is added as well, which like I said, should be in the next couple days. Okay. Thank you for watching.